In this video, Pat and I leave our anchorage on South Fox Island. I sail to Beaver Island, heading up the east coast of the island and then into St. James Harbor. I get a dock at the Beaver Island Municipal Marina. This is the first time that I get a dock this entire trip. Alright, the sun's coming up and uh, wind's supposed to come out of the south so it should be it should be a good day. We should fly to fly to St. James Harbor and get there quick and we're going to need to because it's going to get supposed to get bad out there today at some point. It's a cool sunrise. So anyway, time to go. I gotta get this boat off me first. But look at this sunrise. All right, I'm out here sailing from South Fox to yeah, that's right. I'm out here sailing from South Fox to Beaver Island. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of going down four to seven foot waves, I would guess. I've got a drag device out. The boat's kind of surfing down these waves. It keeps keeps it a little more under control. Um, autopilot's doing it, but a day like today, it's better just to hand steer because the autopilot doesn't do it as well because the boat's just so squirrely going down these waves. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a nice day though. Everything's handling well. I should be in St. James in probably about two hours. Hopefully they'll have a, a dock for me. Otherwise, I'll just anchor, but I, I haven't been to a dock for over a week, week and a half, so I could use going to a dock, hitting the town, provisioning. Um, provisions are good. I think the main thing I need is drinking water. I don't know how much um, water's in the holding tank either, but huh, I'll take a look at this course. So, camera never really picks up how rough it is and what conditions actually are out here. But I'm gonna just hold it still on the boat for a minute. All right, now holding the camera still. Then we roll deep once in a while. Step back. Our course is almost directly downwind, so I'm actually heading off the island a bit. Uh, to get upwind and to get a little further away from it. I don't want to get too shallow. Well, alright. I um, think after... Ooh, that was a good one. I think after this I'm going to hit the head and take the drag device off and start hand steering while I'm really heading to upwind. There we go. I actually cracked it pretty good. Pat's quite a bit ahead of me. He's... I don't think any of his autopilots would work in this anyway. It's up too far downwind. I'm gonna correct it. Yep, lift back up. Okay, so I made it to Beaver Island. And uh, it's really blowing. I just made it before the wind got really nasty. Or I came in when the wind really was nasty in a storm. I don't know, but it, it, it's it's pretty crazy out here. Uh, let's just take a look and see what, what I've been dealing with. If you got you can hear how hard this wind is howling out here but it's really blowing all right I'm just gonna walk back to the boat look at this dock look at these boats there's a, a race boat out here I don't know what the hell they're doing if they're trying to come in they're just kind of playing around the harbor I guess they got a full crew on it so I'm sure they'll be fine Look at this. I'd almost call this pure insanity. The waves kind of go over the dock sometimes. Dude, look at my poor flag. This wind's killing it. It's that bad that not even my flag can handle this. All right. Looks like the Orinoco is generally behaving herself. They told us not to tie it to the cleats because I'm sure I'd rip them out. Check this boat up, this bass boat. Now that boat's really moving. I'm kind of worried one of these lines are frayed. I'd hate to have it snap the line and hit that blue trawler behind it. It's a beautiful trawler. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, look at this. This is the, the marina. <laughs> Craziness. 
I saw Pat was up a minute ago, so we'll see what he's up to. Let's check it out. Mr. Pat, what's going on? Hey, buddy. <laughs> Clean up the damage. Awesome, best sail I think I've ever had. My boat handled it beautifully. I think we made it just in time. 